A Londra il 6 maggio si terrà l'elezione del nuovo sindaco della città e tra i candidati ci sarà Sean Bailey, britannico di origine giamaicana, candidato nel partito conservatore. Bailey, stato deputato leader del Greater London Authority Group conservatore e consigliere speciale del primo ministro Cameron per il crimine giovanile. Il console di San Marino, Maurizio Bragagni, lo ha intervistato sul suo programma per le elezioni, intervista che rilanciamo sul nostro canale su Gentile Concessione del Console. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to this opportunity, it's a great opportunity. We have a great man today and uh, two great men, to be honest with you. We have a candidate, a friend, but also a person that wants to uh, ac uh, has accepted challenges. He's a Sean Bailey's candidate for the London mayor. So Sean, welcome to our okay. Isher Life Foundation. Isher Life is a charity. It's a charity that wants to share the life in the digital era. And one of our mission, not only is it to combat to prevent poverty and to invest in education, but also is to educate, to share an opportunity. And, to, and today we have, uh, we are going to ask question to Sean Bailey. And we have select uh, a friend, but also a great journalist, is a parliamentarian chief correspondent of ANSA to the Italian parliament, is Dr. Francesco Bungarra. Francesco, welcome. I leave to you the floor. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to talk to you today from the Italian Senate and to have uh, in front of me, at least uh, in a digital way, Sean Bailey, who is uh, the, 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 the candidate for the Conservative Party as mayor of London for the next elections, which are really coming. Uh, they're really getting closer and closer. So we are all looking at that also from Italy to what the outcome of these elections are going to be. And we are very happy to have the chance of meeting one of the uh, runners for this important title, uh, for, the, for this top job, especially in the era of the post-pandemic and of the post-Brexit. So, uh, Sean, I'll just go straight to the points. And uh, the, the question might sound uh, strange and probably a bit childish, but I want to ask it to you because I'm sure you're going to give us some uh, not uh, uh, banal answer to that. Who is Sean Bailey? Who are you? I mean, we know you served in the army. We know you started for nothing. You, we know you have an incredible background and you've done so many things. So who is really Sean Bailey? Wow, that's a big question. Just to put it in simple terms, I'm a Londoner, born and bred. I'm the son of Jamaican immigrants. I'm a father of two. I'm married to Ellie, who is my the love of my life. And I, I sit on the London Assembly, but above all things, I'm a concerned Londoner. I come from a very poor background. My, my mother arrived here and she struggled and, and had two sons and raised us on her own. But my mother's a very strong woman. She believes in family. She's a, she's a Christian, as am I. And um, she, she soldiered through and she always told me, you know, you have to become involved in Britain. You have to learn to be British. You have to use everything you have in yourself and in the country to, to progress. She believed in community work. So I was a youth worker for over 20 years. I also worked in drug programs with vulnerable people. I then moved into politics in which I was special advisor to the British Prime Minister, David Cameron. And why that was fun, because he allowed me to be me. He allowed my experiences of, of combating poverty, being homeless, being unemployed and, and, and recovering from those situations. He allowed me to pour that into, into, into policy. And that led me to come here because who Sean Bailey is today is Sean Bailey is a person who wants to give London a fresh start. That's who I am today. That's great. Also because I mean, you saw it from the dark side, let's put it this way. Yeah, so that way you're going to be able to put some experience into that. And I don't think it's just a matter of experience. I think it's also a matter of uh, empathy. Yeah. To the it, things which come up. It, it drives my whole, my whole politics. The reason I'm here today is because of this, this, this charity's focus on education. I'm also a governor of a school because one of the biggest steps in all of the Western world, so in Italy and in Britain, is to get a good, strong education. And if you're trying to help the poor communities in, in Italy or in London, the first thing you need to do is inspire young people to become educated. It gives them something they can use for their whole life. What is your winning receipt? receipt? What is your secret which, which you think you're going to be able to offer to the people of London? 
I think it comes in two big things. One, I want to give London a fresh start. We're in a post-Brexit world, we're in the COVID world, and Londoners are desperate to get back to work, get back to family, get back to a safe London, buy their homes, all of these things that I can provide for them for their fresh start. And also the second part is just how badly Sadiq Khan has failed. He's broken more than half the promises he made. He promised us 80,000 houses he, a, a, a year. He has only built 20,000 in five years. He promised to keep London safe. We've had record levels of crime, unfortunately. You know, he promised to clean our environment and he hasn't. All he's done is increase our taxes. So his poor performance is my secret weapon because Londoners definitely want to move forward, definitely want a fresh start. Interesting, because I mean, normally being based on the low performance of the opponents can in, in, in some way help you to, to do better things. But I mean, uh, apart from that, if you would have to say, to tell me, Francesco, I'm going to do this as the, as the first thing I will make when I'll be elected, what will you pick up? So why don't I tell you the first three things I'll do? Number Please. one is put 8,000 extra police officers on the streets of London. London's a great city, one of the safest cities in the world, but we're beginning to lose that because Sadiq Khan has failed to look after the public safety of London. I will get that done as job number one, starting with 8,000 extra police officers. The second thing is to build 100,000 homes for 100,000 pounds using shared ownership. And that's where the state provides some of the money and the individual provides some of the money. For, for my Italian cousins who are viewing this. And, and why that's important is 87% of Londoners want to own their own home, but Sadiq Khan is only building homes for rent. He's not even building enough of those. So I want to build homes for rent and also homes to buy as well, because that's what Londoners want. And thirdly is to support our young people with 4,000 extra youth workers across London to help young people keep safe, to give them a safe place to stay and, and learn the skills, the soft skills, the things you need to learn outside of school to make you successful as an adult, as a citizen. So they're the things that I'll do first. I have, t I have a 10 point plan, but they're the first things I'll start with on day one. Thank you. Listen, we're reaching the end of this lovely chance of, ch of chatting to each other. Uh, I wanted to, I was curious about one thing. I mean, London is really a multicultural city. Uh, I mean, if you walk in the streets of London, you really find everyone. It's not only the Italians, but I mean, all the world is gathering, has been gathering in that city so far. Uh, so I would like to ask you, what kind of message would you like to deliver to those people who don't come from the UK, but that shows London as their house uh, on a Brexit, on a post-Brexit London? So there's two things I'd say. Firstly, the world was welcome to London long before the European Union existed and you'll be welcome to it long after. Don't let people, mainly Labour politicians, tell you that London doesn't want you because of Brexit. Brexit has nothing to do with how we want to see the world. If you're from the Italian community, for instance, you never arrived here in the last 20, 30, 40, or even 50 years. There's been a huge Italian community here for hundreds and hundreds of years. As a matter of fact, um, it was the Romans really who started London. London started 50 hundred years ago and it was Romans who came across and, 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 and started to build London. So please understand when I'm mayor of London, you'll be more welcome than ever, than ever. And the key thing I'll say this, I have a plan to build 924,000 jobs over the next five years. Of course, many of those jobs will go to our Italian community that are here in London and, and people who are, who are yet born who will come from Italy and around the world. London, I will make a London that is a crossroads for the world. City Hall will be where the world meets and where the world does business and where the world makes friends. So make no mistake, in Sean Bailey's London, Italy and the rest of the world will be more welcome than ever. You have just one minute, uh, Sean. I want you to use this minute to tell the Europeans in London and uh, to the Londoners who live in London why they should vote for you. Here's what I'll say, London needs a fresh start. I'm going to make a fairer, cleaner, safer London. And how am I going to do that? I'm going to put the bobbies on the beat, we need to keep us safe, but I'm also gonna build the youth zones to provide the youth workers we need for our young people. I'm gonna provide 100,000 homes for 100,000 pounds so that you can buy them. I'm gonna build an infrastructure bank, 10.9 billion pounds to help fund transport for London and maintain 
our network. I'm not going to bring in an outer London border charge like Sadiq Khan wants to, to cause Londoners to have to pay extra money to move around. I will be reducing the congestion charge because at this time when we need to rebuild business, adding all these extra costs don't help. But the key number one thing is this, a safer, fairer London because I will give London a fresh start. Sean Bailey, thank you very much. Thank you. Sean and uh, Francesco, thanks for this great opportunity. Thanks for everything that you have done. Today we have uh, got the opportunity to see better Sean, who is Sean Bailey. And also, to I want to thank Sean from my background. I'm a Londoner, but I'm coming from the Italian community. I want to say thanks for your words, for your kindness word, and also for your friends, friendship that is started a long time ago and you have been very close always to the Italian community and not, not only since when you have started the, your campaign but a long time ago and a long time ago you have been also a friend of all of us. So thanks for this opportunity, good luck and uh, God bless you. God bless you, thank you very much. Scarica l'applicazione di Tele Londra. È gratuita e rimani connesso con il mondo italiano in UK. Ricevi le informazioni per gli italiani in UK tutti i giorni. Se anche tu vuoi fare pubblicità su Tele Londra, scrivici a info.telelondra.uk o contattaci al numero 07 43 21 99 430.